Hi, uh, Dave Soriano, Chem Professor, Western Pennsylvania, USA. One of the areas of research we're involved in, aluminum air batteries. And you can see right now, we've got about a 1.16 volt potential. The best we've done under these conditions is 1.17. We're not passing any air through, simply ambient conditions. One of the things we do is to electrolyze water, segregate the gases, utilize the oxygen gas, and we'll be studying some basic voltage current uh, studies in varying amounts of oxygen from uh, water electrolysis. So uh, with the aluminum, we have alligator clips attached, and uh, we have a 30 milliliter disposable syringe and we have a section cut out at the bottom. The aluminum rod is in a tightly, fis, uh, tightly fitting plastic casing itself, which you can't see. There's holes in it to a layer, a layer to allow oxygen. Excuse me, a layer allow oxygen uh, flow. And the outer uh, 30 milliliter syringe tube also has holes. Now around that aluminum is the so-called DPU tactic mixture and this particular one is glycerin and choline chloride there's 1.17 volts and uh, that uh, deep eutectic mixture that electrolyte uh, freezes at negative 10 degrees Celsius that's one of the things we're interested in uh, low temperature uh, performance of the electrolyte and uh, that electrolyte then is uh, surrounded by carbon and some manganese 4 dioxide which is a catalyst. So there you have it, the aluminum air battery. The oxygen accepts electrons which are provided by the aluminum and uh, that's a pretty good potential. We'll be hooking these up in series, a bunch of them, and put a load on there, small DC motors, while we carry out uh, certain battery performance studies and uh, we'll be uploading some of our results as we go along. You can also find us at Bamboozer, bamboozer.com, and uh, just look for the Zinc Air Battery Research. We'll be setting this up live cam so you can see for yourself some of the uh, voltage current data we're collecting. piece of copper, I may add, is feathered, 16 gauge, it's feathered and put through in contact with the carbon to harvest uh, the electrons, the current, and that's what we have the electrode uh, connected to it at the bottom of the syringe. I just saw 1.18. There it is, 1.18. Thanks for watching. Bye.